hey guys welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how i crochet the top part of the spring twist unit someone requested a close-up video on this part so if you need to see the full video i will link it in the description so this is the hair i will be using it is color four i cut it into two and i separate it into three i use t-pins to secure one side of the lace knife you can secure both sides if you want and I will be using the line on the block head as a guide, so keep watching and see how I do it. As you guys can see, I use the line as a guide, it makes the process easier. If your block head doesn't have the line, you can go ahead and draw one for yourself to make it easy. I'm going to finish this side and I will show you guys how to work on the other side. This side is complete. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. As you guys can see, it's very neat. Everything is on that line on the block head. Take your time, no rush. I'm going to show you guys how to work on the other side. It's very easy.
this side you use the twist on the other side as a guide so I'm going to finish this side and show you guys the final look so everything is looking full so far I'm going to fill in this spot right here uh, my client didn't want it too full so I'm going to space it out but if you're going for a fuller look you can put in more hair so guys this is how I do the top part of my spring twist wig with bangs I do it that way so that if you want to do a side part or a middle part it's easier you can use um, bobby pins to secure i usually use two bundles for this hair but my client didn't want it too much so i use one and a half You can part the hair along that line and use pins to secure you can do a middle part you can do a side part so let me know what you think about this method if this video was helpful go ahead and give it a thumbs up share with someone leave a comment if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video